Now, in continuing with our online radiology teaching series that we run on DAMS Ready channel on YouTube, now today I will present an interesting case of Butchari syndrome to you. In this, I will discuss the case as a spotter. Sometimes you get this as an image in your exams. Sometimes they ask you the keywords in an MCQ based exam. We need to understand how to identify this disease on a CT scan. We know Butcheri syndrome is due to occlusion of the hepatic veins, could be because of thrombosis or could be because of a membrane occluding the vein. And how do we actually identify this? Now, key anatomical thing to understand the radiological picture of Butcheri syndrome is the fact that in Butcheri syndrome, the caudate lobe which is being which is draining via separate vein, that vein is usually spared in the obstruction. So the entire radiology of Butcheri syndrome is based on sparing of the caudate vein. So once you understand this, we just need to look at a few images. Now this is a non-contrast CT abdomen where you can see this is the iota and you can see it's non-enhanced. So this tells me we are looking at an NCCT. You can see some contrast in the stomach. So you've done an oral contrast. This is the spleen. You can see an enlarged left lobe and as compared to the central part central part looks more dense as compared to the peripheral part okay and we see the caudate lobe and the central part of the liver is having more attenuation as compared to the periphery which is having low attenuation this is typical of butcheri syndrome on a plain ct now if i show you the contrast enhanced image of the same patient what are we able to see now the same thing is exaggerated here we are able to see that the periphery is non-enhancing it is enhancing less as compared to the center which is enhancing more you can also see a compressed inferior vena cava these are typical features of of butcheri syndrome this patient would usually present with ascites hepatomegaly abdominal pain and we know we are looking at a compressed ivc enhancement in the central part enhancement in the caudate lobe and reduced enhancement in the periphery okay now the my key take-home messages that i want you to gain from today's spotter series is that early feature uh, in early phase in acute but cherry syndrome you will see enhancement of the caudate lobe and the central liver around the ivc like we saw in this patient and the peripheral liver would show delayed enhancement and at that time the central would have relatively low density that is called as flip-flop appearance because of this enhancement pattern you may call it as a mottled appearance of the liver Chronic stages, the caudal lobe will get enlarged and you will be able to see some collateral channels. This is the key take-home message about how to identify Butchari syndrome on a CT scan. Our intent of this spotter series is to make sure that basic simple radiological diseases, simple uh, diseases, you can easily learn to identify them on a simple spot-based case or on a MCQ-based, image-based MCQ. For more such cases, Please follow us on Dam's Daily channel on YouTube where we keep adding such educational videos. Thank you very much.